Admiral's Log, date October 4th, 1911. The new test group of heavy cruisers is finally done. The York, Victoria Louise and Admiral Hipper have been finished and are ready to see action. This has come as a critical time as the current generation of heavy cruiser was proving to be massively underperforming against their British counterpart. With 10-inch guns of main armaments, these new heavy cruisers have far more punching power than the 7-inch guns on the older generation of cruisers. This firepower is badly needed, as the British have seemingly taken a turtle approach. Slow and heavily armored cruisers to project power across the globe. The battle cruisers have so far performed very well, in their intended role, that is, of merchant raiders. But even they struggled against the British cruisers. To combat this, I've had new battle cruisers designed and ordered the start of construction. Getting the new battle cruisers out there will take quite a bit of time. Until that time, we'll have to make do with the materials that we have. It could be a rough 15 months. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 7 of the German campaign. In which I am at a bit of a crossroads when it comes to my heavy cruisers. See, I have a lot of these guys. I have 14 of these heavy cruisers. I used to have 15, but I scrapped one just to see what it would do to my power projection. My power projection was 31,551. I scrapped a heavy cruiser and it dropped by about 900 points. So if I scrap a ton of my heavy cruisers and I'm not able to instantly replace them, I'm going to be left with a big gap in my power projection. I'm already blockaded as is, so you could argue that, well, it's not going to get that much worse, is it? Uh, no, probably not. The thing, however, is that I'm afraid that if I lose more power projection, I'm going to also start suffering the loss of more transport ships. Fortunately, there I have some good news. Because when it comes to my transports, I'm currently at 105%. And that means I can reduce this a bit. So I can reduce this back to, let's say, uh, 0.5, or yeah, 0.5%. This way we're going to keep building, but it's not going to be um, as bad on my budget as it used to be. Now that frees up quite a bit of money. I can now get a monthly balance of plus 2.7 million. With that, I'm going to start a new shipbuilding progress, or a shipbuilding uh, spree, really, of the York-class cruisers. Now there hasn't been really that much research, so it's not like I need to adjust them that much. There is one thing that I would like to have a look at, and that's seeing whether they have torpedo tubes or not. I believe that I did not fit them with those. No, sorry, I did, for underwater torpedo tubes. And they got the 10-inch guns, which should be sufficient to deal with the British cruisers. As well as a slew of secondaries to deal with the British let's say, lighter cruisers and destroyers. However, the 10-inch guns have me wondering, are they enough? Because these things are firing heavy shells with as much pen as possible. It gives me, with these 10-inch guns, uh, where are you at? Here. It gives me 22 inches of armor pen, which should be more than sufficient. Even at 2,500 meter range, I should be able to pen. So arguably, the York class is good enough. The only issue is that they have a cramped crew quarters. But if I want to up that, I'm going to have to reduce my armor. Because I cannot have both. And I really like my armor. Although maybe maybe the range can be adjusted. Let's have a look. So this is the, uh, let's say the York, York uh, 2 class. And I'm going to give them a standard crew compartment. But I don't need that much range at all, actually, nine and a half kilometers, or sorry, <laughs> nine and a half kilometers, 9,900 kilometers should be sufficient to get to Britain and back quite a few times. And with that, I suddenly have 500 tons of displacement available. What if I go for even bigger guns? Because we got these things strapped on there, the 10 inchers. The 11 inchers are appealing. It's another couple of inches of pen, and damage goes from 85 to 107. Weight on these is not even that much worse. It's about 80 tons per. I just don't think that they'll fit here. That's the issue. I have a pretty outdated hull, the uh, semi, uh, sorry, the armored cruiser hull. It's not very good. That's my concern. 
So I'm going to keep these as is, but I will improve their defensive capabilities, giving them more auxiliary engine, giving them a double bottom hull. Uh, they have already maximum bulkheads. That is good. We're going to give them electro hydraulical turrets. Oh, sorry, electrical turrets. Current traverse speed is 25% better, but flash fire chance is worse. Give them better barbettes. Anti torp. Oh, that's a bit much. That's a bit much. Now, 11 tons overweight, that's fine. I can just scrape a little bit off of the armor belts here. There. Okay. So that's the flight two of the Yorks. And these flight twos, I'm going to be building in some good numbers. Um, I can afford to have about two and a half million per month. So there. And then as more new ships come in, I'm going to phase out the older ships. That's how this is going to work. So in, um, well, not actually in a few months, basically now. I already have the York, the Victoria Louise, and the Admiral Hipper in conflict at the North Sea with some ships. They are part of this convoy attack. So this is going to be an excellent first attack of, or sorry, a first uh, challenge for these new heavy cruisers. Can the Hipper and the York, aided by the V4, deal with the heavy cruiser undaunted? I don't really care about the lights. Yes, they need to go down, sure. But it's usually the heavy cruiser that I struggle with. They need to go. Now, I really enjoy this increased challenge. Because there is definitely a lot more going on. There is definitely a lot more opposition from the enemy. And um, the heavy cruisers are proving pretty difficult. They are proving to be a bit of a nuisance. Holy shit, was that a main gun hit? No, that wow, that was the two-inchers. Where did the York pitch in? Yeah, the York pitched in with a 10-inch shell hit. The thing is, while it is beautiful that I'm able to find these transports, they're not actually what I need to hit. Well, they are, but... What I want to be killing off, or fighting rather, is their heavy cruiser. But apparently we're able to sneak up on this convoy, which... Means that the Brits might take some economic losses, but I want to test these guys out against the transport. Sorry, against the cruisers. Because that's their natural enemy. That's what I had these. Well, not the Hipper, what the, the York class for. Anyway, I need to sink 100% of these guys, so let's get that over with. And then, hopefully, there's still some time to sink a heavy cruiser and some lights. Now, a little later, we have sunk quite a few of the transports. They still have the Orpheus as well as the Southampton. But my bigger concern at the moment is the Undaunted, the Challenger, and the Gloucester. These light cruisers and heavy cruiser have come for my heavy cruisers. And this is actually what I wanted them to do. Because this is the test for the York class. Now, the Undaunted was capable of pretty much punishing any heavy cruiser that I sent at it. Can I do the same against the Hipper? And the answer is no, not quite. Uh, yes, it can pen quite a bit. And of course, the closer I get, the worse this becomes. But my main belt is largely impenetrable because I have that eight inches of main belt, fore belt, and aft belt. So as long as I keep going towards the Undaunted, and, well, here and there dodging torpedoes from the Gloucester and Challenger, I should be capable of tanking hits from the Undaunted, as the shells will most likely ricochet off. These guys, the Challenger and the Gloucester, have 7-inch guns, and they have even more of a troubling time trying to pen me. You can, however, see that they have a chance to pen the torpedo launchers. Bow, port, starboard, and aft are fragile. And so are the secondaries. So maybe I need to make a, well, let's say a third flight of these ships and focus them on improving the defenses for the secondaries. Although, 3-inch guns, 4-inch guns, etc., uh, you can have very low amounts of armament put onto those. Or sorry, armor put onto those. 
Can I pen the Undaunted? Uh, somewhat. 42% chance. But that's already a hell of a lot better than what those 7-inch pea shooters had on the previous generation of heavy cruisers. I'm now looking at 45% and we're going up. With low chance to ricochet. In reverse, I'm getting closer and closer and closer. And because I'm angled, their chance to pen me is going down ever so slightly. On top of that, I have torpedoes, which I'm not allowing the use of yet. So that if I get close enough, I can hit them with 19-inch torpedoes. And these are the fast variety, which means only 4 kilometer range, but 42 knots, making them harder to dodge. And meanwhile, I also have the V4. And as long as the Undaunted is distracted, I can use her to close the distance and potentially go after the transports in the meanwhile. Let's get some damage in, shall we? That's what we got these guys for. Keeping a pretty close eye on their ability to launch torpedoes at me. The Challenger still has two torpedo launchers. Oh, sorry, still two torpedoes. The Gloucester has four. So they're both still dangerous. At this point, my chance to pen is going down. It's the Undaunted. Apparently is not that undaunted. <laughs> she starts to turn away. Where are you going, little one? Although, actually, they're not that, that little. Because um, they're outweighing my ship by more than 10%. My heavy cruisers, 10,000 tons of displacement. Theirs, 11.6. Their cost, 7.1 million. Mine, 5.5. Hopefully cost-effective as well. Alright, yeah, you're going to take down the Orpheus. I'm also considering building a new type of destroyer. Just one that has more of a gunboat, fo a gun yeah, a gunboat focus. At this point, you really shouldn't be able to pen me. Not the belt, anyway, but the superstructure, yes. Sadly, with the exception of the aft belt... I really cannot do much against that ship. Focus everything we have on the Undaunted. But do it with HE. Because I doubt that anything else is going to do much. If it hits, that is. We're still operating cadets. These guys are trained. These are seasoned. And these are seasoned as well. Oh crap, they're damaging the stern turret. That's not good. I could lob a torpedo at him. Force them to change direction. That might be a way to get the Undaunted's attention. But I'd rather get a bit closer. Because even though these torpedoes are fast, the Undaunted is very quick to dodge those. 227 turning circle. As opposed to my 461. Flooding. There we go. Ideally, I'd hit that rudder again and force them to give up some turn ability. Their turning rate needs to go down. You know what? Let's chance it. Torpedo away. Art port. Hit! Maximum port turn. I don't want rams. I also want to make sure that the York doesn't accidentally hit me. Torpedoes away if you can. Starboard launcher. Come on. No! York! Cease fire. Friendly fire isn't. So please don't. Aft launcher. Aft launcher away. Hit! Undaunted is taking on a lot of water. Detach. York can continue. You may now proceed with your firing. You cannot torp the target. But you can. Now you need to shut up for a second. That was another torpedo hit. Now we're getting somewhere. This is the way forward. In the meanwhile, how are you doing, V4? Well, not too bad. 
not too bad. Let's see if these smaller guns from the V4 can be useful. You're targeting the Orpheus? No, no, silly. Go for the Southampton. Low-hanging fruit. Easy target right there. Oh. You guys have been maneuvering. Torpedo's there. Thankfully, I've been maneuvering pretty heavily as well. So hopefully, I'll not really be an easy target for these lights. At least not the torps. Hipper, go after the Gloucester. Normal torps. Oh, sorry, normal uh, firing chance. The Undaunted should be pretty dead. 50% chance to pen. Still? With a 10 inch gun? That's still a bit of a cluster. There you go. Flooding. With a 2 inch. Ooh, shit. I just saw them launch the torpedo. I think the Challenger has launched either at York or at the Hipper. Oh, fuck! I'm gonna overcorrect. No! No, 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 no. These are survivable, but I just don't want to get torps. Not twice, damn it. Ah. These guys are expensive. And I want to make sure that they survive. This is not helpful. Hipper, emergency stop. Aggressive torpedoes. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna lose the Hipper. Because I overcorrected. Oh, that's terrible. I overcorrected against the torpedo. If I had done nothing, they just would have missed me. Oh, well. At least we were able to sink a bunch of transports, and we are going to sink a heavy cruiser, as well as both of their lights. They just don't know it yet. The Challenger did get hit by a torpedo from the Yor sorry, from the Hipper before she went down. So I at least got that. And it doesn't look like that's coming back anytime soon. And the Gloucester is out of torpedoes, and so is the Challenger. The Undaunted is holding on on 1%. I already consider these cruisers to be much, much more successful than their previous gen. They just really weren't very good. Making Swiss cheese of this cruiser here. Bow's filling up. For some reason the buoyancy is not dropping. Okay, turn away. We're going to hit them with the torpedo launcher off the stern in their bow. That's the plan. Torpedo away. Right on your nose. And you're done. Thank you. Now hold off on the torpedoes. We're going to finish off the wounded challenger first. And how are you doing with your transport kill? Oh, not too bad. It's taken a bit more time than I would like. And I believe that I'm short one transport. Go score me some light cruisers. Because they were... Yeah, they're 5 million a pop. So their light cruisers are almost as expensive as one of my ships. One of my heavy cruisers. I still really haven't gotten that much use out of the DDs, though. They've... Well, they've killed a battle cruiser. I'll grant them that. They have killed a battle cruiser. And with that, I think even that one kill... Paid for the entire class. The entire... What did I have? Eight of these things, I think? So that was definitely a victory. But... They're too fragile. Come on, finish off the Southampton. We have more ships to attend to. Thank you. What are you up to, York? Let's, uh... Reprioritize the Gloucester, because she's right on top of us. You know what? Just hit him with a torpedo. I don't care. You got a pretty terrible turning circle. You might detect the torp, 
But with a turning circle like that, you're not likely to dodge said torp. Oh, and that's uncomfortable. You seem to have misplaced your turret. And suddenly the Gloucester that was full health a moment ago is in a terrible shape. Terrible shape. Two engines down, rudders down. York throws another torpedo but misses. Hold off on the torps for a second. Can we please actually get some gun hits on that? No? Okay, cool. I thought I'd ask, because you're mostly a gunboat. But apparently that is too much to ask. Chance to pen is still 50-50. Come on. I rather doubt it. Ammo detonation. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a heart to port. Ideally, I'd flood them out and not spend any more torpedoes on these. Come on, Gloucester. Thank you. New target, Challenger. Challenger is still pretty mobile. She still has the full use of her rudder. And um, that means I'm not that likely to score a torpedo hit. Are you not dead yet? Why are you working on it? Your torpedo went ready. And you... If you could just kindly hit the challenger in the aft so that her rudder dies, I can kill her as well. Good lord. That was just... 700 meters and we're not hitting anything. I kind of suspect that if I launch a torp now, it won't hit. But I still have a few. So I might as well try. Port turn. Starboard launcher. Starboard launcher away. And it starts turning to starboard, but not fast enough. No, just fast enough. Oh, dude. Wait one. Did you actually manage to miss with a full spread of torpedoes? You're going to have to run that one by me. This thing is dead in the water. It has three damaged engines and a damaged rudder. Either the torpedoes are still in the water. Or they're way off. I was probably here when they launched, so I should be looking here? Where the hell are my torpedoes? Cadet level crews, I'm telling you. Oh well. Now, Challenger is desperately trying to fight back against the York, but finding it hard to do so, because most of the belt is just impenetrable. In truth, however, she doesn't have that much to fear from the York, because the York can't shoot for shit. <laughs> and it's just missing one shot after the next. Thank you. That's more like it. Sometimes you gotta motivate these sailors with some trash talk. And all of a sudden they start performing. Let's uh, do a starboard turn. Did they mutilate a secondary gun or a There you go, that's the Grampus den. Um, torpedo away, bow launcher. Yeah, that's not dodgeable, is it? And there goes the Challenger. Starboard turn. Hold. Done. Okay, job done. Mission complete. Definitely a success for the York class. If I hadn't overcorrected, it would have been a perfect victory. 
and the enemy would not have gotten a kill on the Admiral Hipper. Interestingly, these guys now have a green crew, so they are going to be a little bit more effective next time. And their heavy cruisers have definitely met their match, because these York-class cruisers, um, they are a bit more costly in maintenance per month, interestingly, but build cost is definitely worse for the Undaunted class. I like these. These are your class cruisers. We're going to have some fun with these. The enemy's ship strength, however, is still 68,150. I took down one heavy cruiser relative to previous, and I'm looking at a loss of strength for about six, six or seven hundred. That's about the price of a heavy cruiser. So it's their battleships that need to go. The battleships are by far the hardest hitters when it comes to power projection. It's just that I haven't seen them in a while. Where are your battleships? There's seven battleships in Scapa Flow. Okay. <laughs> no, I know. You cannot move your ships to an enemy port, sure. Three in Rosinth. Sorry, Rosith. Rosith. Two in Sunderland. Okay. At any rate, I do have these new cruisers being built. Um, how long is the York going to be? Two months. Wait, what? I thought you were dead. Hold on. There's no more battles, right? No, next turn. <clears throat> the British Empire warns their head of admiralty, Henning von Holzendorf, for his excessive naval expenditure. What? So they're spending a metric ton on their navy. Yeah, it hadn't updated yet. The Victoria, Louise, and the York are alive. The third class, the oh, sorry, the third ship of that class is not the Hipper, sadly. Um, it's going to take thirteen months to build a whole fleet of these things. Fifteen months to get my new battle cruisers online. I can't really afford to have the rest of these cruisers just not doing much of anything, sadly. Although I could transfer them to in being. Yeah, let's set them to in being. This way they're not going to add that much to the budget. And if it comes to, you know, here. Boom. In being. In being means that they're not going to cost as much maintenance per month. This is 306. If I switch to C control, it's 460. This adds up. 2.1 million. Good. Give me a couple more of those. There. So slowly but steadily, we're going to have more and more of those new class heavy cruisers. And as they come off the slipways, I'm going to have to retire some of the other ones. The Ostfriesland is one of my newer ships as well. It is the... Yeah, it's another one of the König Albert class. It's the older class. And uh, they got those 8 in... Yeah, 8 to 12 inches. For some reason, I have barely, if ever, seen these ships fight. I'm not sure why, but I don't know. They just don't seem to get any encounters. Where are they? Where are my battleships at? Kiel, Danzig, and two in Hamburg. Why is one in Kiel? Oh, right. Okay. The one from Danzig, I'm going to relocate. Move the ship. Um, we're going to move to Emden. And I want that just to be the battle cruiser. Oh, sorry, the heavy cruiser. No. Good lord. The battleship. Move. Off you go. All right. And the rest of these fights are going to have to wait until next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon for more episodes.